Platinum selling country artist Clay Walker is very, very busy. He's touring the country on his national tour, but he's stopping down for just a little bit to talk about something that's very near and dear to his heart, and that is the important role of caregivers for those with chronic diseases. So please welcome Clay Walker and his care partner and wife, Jessica. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. So first of all, um, welcome, and thanks for taking the time to stop and talk with us. But Clay, what have you been doing? I know, you, like, like I just said, you're very busy touring. What else is going on with you career-wise? It's been an incredible year. A lot of activity, a lot of traveling, and a lot of shows. Um, recorded a new record uh, that'll be coming out the first of the year. So it's important for, for me to stay healthy, and this beautiful lady has, has helped me do that. I've uh, got a great and relationship with Teva. With, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, I'm I was. Sorry. I was just going to say for <laughs> those who don't know, uh, you were diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. I'm sorry, yes, Eden. I, I was diagnosed 20 years ago with with the relapsing remitting form of of MS, and uh, it's you know something that is very near and dear to my heart. I've, I've lived with the disease 20 years, and. I've, I've gained a lot of knowledge about it, and um, I can tell you that uh, the caregiver part of of that knowledge has been invaluable. You know, her her support of me, uh, the emotional support, as well as the uh, sometimes she's a little tough. You know, when she wants me to stick to the routine of you know diet, exercise, and medication, she she gets her point across, and and I'm I'm very blessed uh, to to have her in my life. Um, so I. I you know, if if I was not as healthy as I am, you know, and not able to uh, to get around and and do my part as far as working and going out and doing shows, I think things would be different. So we both have a healthy fear of what multiple sclerosis can do uh, in the debilitating department, and so we do everything we can to uh, combat that. I've been relapse free for 18 straight years, and uh, we're celebrating oh. that today as well. Well, we should celebrate that for sure. And Jessica, what are some of the ways that you keep Clay in line? Well, that can be that can be hard at times. But you know, uh, for for everyone, every journey is different. So for us, what works is just keeping a really strict routine. I love regiment. I'm Type A personality, so just. <laughs> very, She's with also our, kind. She's well, a very with our kind kids, woman. And with our whole family, you know, just exercising. We eat a very organic, natural uh, diet, and him taking his medication. Just really sticking to that plan and making sure that that gets done. You know, every day, it, it really works for us. You know, I think I could speak on behalf of the, uh, or speak to, the the patients out there. The caregivers' role is is very challenging sometimes, and. It's important for us to do our part. You know, for me with MS, uh, you know, I have, I have to take a medication three times a week. And she always, if I'm on the road, she'll call one of my band members. And next thing you know, I'll get a question from the bass player. He'll say, did you take your shot today? I'll be like, did she call you? He's like, yeah. I'll say, yeah, I did. You know, but those that kind of, of should I say, tough love or, or encouragement is, is important um, because human beings are lazy, uh, and so uh, having somebody to that extra support, that extra little urge, n little nudge to, to do what you need to do is, is sometimes is, makes all the difference in the world. So what so what brings you to us today to celebrate this? Are you encouraging folks to just make a point to say thank you or to celebrate, or is there a website folks can go to to learn more? Well, it's National Caregivers Month, and how many there's, caregivers? Are there? There's over 90 million caregivers uh, in the United States, believe it or not, and we're here to celebrate and honor them. November is National Caregivers Month, so we just want you to know, you know, Clay and I are a team, but I have my own support team as well. Like he said, I'll call band members, and they help me out, making sure he keeps up with his regimen, and I call my mom at times for, you know, emotional support. So I, I think that reaching out to family and friends and just create your own team. Know that you're not alone in this journey. I think what she's trying to say, Eden, is that she'll do whatever it takes to keep me healthy. Yeah, <laughs> and we appreciate that. All of us, in, 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 right. all of us music lovers totally appreciate that and the both of you are wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank uh, you. Thank you too. Thank everyone in Jacksonville for us. Great town.